Well, I'm really having a therapy session right now. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be filming something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about some non-fiction books today. You guys know I pretty much stick to my genre. I don't like changing it up. I stick to romance and I pretty much only read romance but I do have a few non-fiction books that I do want to read. Some of them are still romance related so we can't uh, branch too far out but some of them are mental health books or self-help books or things like that and I think that they're going to be really good reads and some of my like trusted YouTubers have recommended these books and so I want to read them. Unfortunately I don't have any of the physical copies with me uh, but I'll put a photo of the cover on the screen of course. But yeah I'm super excited to talk about these books because they have been on my TBR for ages, have no idea when I'll actually read them. Okay, so before we get into all the books on my non-fiction TBR, I just want to quickly talk about today's sponsor. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I actually can't believe that I have a sponsorship. Like, that's literally so insane because, like, when I started my YouTube channel, like, seven years ago, I didn't think that I would get to this point where I'm being sponsored. Like, that's literally insane. And BetterHelp is, like, such an amazing website and therapy and like mental health is so important to me so when BetterHelp reached out I knew it was going to be the perfect sponsorship especially to do my first sponsorship so yeah let me just tell you a little bit about what BetterHelp is about. If you're feeling depressed, anxious, stressed, overwhelmed, BetterHelp's here to help. They offer licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you and you can talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience. They offer a broad range of therapists and therapy that might not be available in your area. Say you live in a secluded area that doesn't have any therapy around you BetterHelp is perfect because it's online it's easy and you can do it from the comfort of your own home all you have to do is fill out the questionnaire that'll assess your specific needs and then get you matched with the therapist in under 24 hours which is literally so quick because I know therapy in like not online it can take you forever to get matched like I know personally with I go to therapy and it took like months to, before I actually got to see a therapist and even then like you can not it might not be the right fit and then you have to wait longer but with better help it's super quick and easy and you can do it like at home like I said which is especially for people who have social anxiety that's like really amazing and they assess your specific needs so say you want specifically a male ther therapist or a female therapist or someone that matches and has the same religious beliefs as you anything like that or say you want to only work on a certain area like anxiety or depression specifically you can find a therapist that specializes in that which is amazing the amazing thing about the questionnaire because you get matched with a therapist that's perfect for you and your needs which is awesome and then you schedule a video or a phone session plus you can exchange in a limited amount of messages and everything you share is completely confidential of course and that's the thing I love about BetterHelp is that it's completely like online and you can exchange a bunch of messages with the therapist before you actually schedule the video or phone session which is literally awesome because I know personally it's really scary meeting new people for the first time especially someone who you're going to share like things with that you probably wouldn't share with like anyone else and getting comfortable with them through the messaging is awesome because it helps you get comfortable and then you can schedule the video session or even the phone session if you don't want to do a video session and you'll be like you already feel like you know the person before actually speaking to them which is awesome and at any time if you want to if you feel like your therapist isn't really fitting you you can request a new therapist with, with no additional charge which is awesome because you know it does take a while to find the right fit of a person and I love that you can just request a new therapist with no additional charge if you want to get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp you can click the link in the first line of the description box or you can copy the link that's on the screen right now and you'll get 10% off your first month which is awesome and yeah I just want to thank you once again BetterHelp for sponsoring this video I still can't believe that I'm doing a sponsor video literally insane but let's just get on with the books that are on my non-fiction TBR okay so let's start off with the two romance books because you know romance is my thing this one is love stories by Trent Dalton and this one is actually an Australian based one which I think is super cool basically this man Tim he is from Queensland and he sat 
at like a really busy street with his typewriter and ba he basically got people to come up to him and tell him their love stories whether that be platonic or romantic uh some are happy some are sad and uh, i think that's a really cool concept because it's like real life romance like it's people's real life love stories which i think is super super cool and they're just like you know already ordinary people that have love stories and i literally love that and so there are a bunch of just like short stories about all these people and i think that's really really cool and i really want to read it plus the cover is stunning like hello look at that it's literally stunning plus rachel catherine one of my favorite youtubers she loves this book so i really wanted to read it plus it's only like 19 dollars it came out and we love that so this is the first book on my non-fiction tbr and the next one is also a little bit romancy i guess it's a memoir and that is everything i know about love by dolly alderton and this one was recommended by steph of course you i you guys all know steph Bo, Bo, I don't know how to say her last name but you guys you guys know who I'm talking about she read this book and she absolutely loved it plus the cover again like really intriguing like I love all the crossed out like lettering and yeah this is a memoir about her life I believe and um, everything she's learned along the way I guess of course about love and things like that and I'm really excited to read this one once again like $12 it came out which we love and yeah I cannot wait to read this and read it I've never read a memoir before though so that'll be interesting but yeah that's the next book on my tbr the next one is one that literally everyone and their everyone has read like i mean everyone like i so late on the train to read this one but that is the subtle art of not giving a fuck by mark madsen and i've heard some mixed things about it like i've heard really really good things and then i've heard some really really bad things and people some people love it some people don't love it but I really want to read it and I probably will borrow this from one of my friends because literally like I said everyone's read it and I feel a lot of my friends do own this book so I'm interested to read it and obviously it's about how to give less of a fuck what people think you know and just about life and just in general I give way too much I care way too much about everything and I feel like this book will really help me learn how to not give a shit <laughs> which is kind of necessary because as an overthinker, anxious person, I just think too much about everything in every situation and it's just really not, not the best. And the next book that I want to read is The Mountain Is You by Brianna, Brianna Weist, I don't know, this is another one recommended by Steph and this one is about self-sabotage and why we do it, how not to do it and this is one that I definitely need to read, it's probably like priority on this TBR. It's probably the top of the list of the ones that I want to read because I am the worst person when it comes to self-sabotage. I ruin good things for myself all the time because I get anxious, I'm just scared it's like not going to work out even though it could. Like my hands at risk I fold, fine line Harry Styles, that line, literally everything because like same. Like I like ruin a good thing because I'm like scared that it's not gonna like work out in my favor i'm gonna get hurt like whatever things like that so well we're really having a therapy session right now but i just feel like the bad news you is just like apparently it's really really good steph said so and i trust her and her book recommendations so she's never let me down before so i really want to read this one especially because self sabotage is such an issue for me and i really need to like learn how not to do it and the next book is one that i've heard literally nothing about but i saw it i think Maybe on TikTok? I'm not too sure. It's called How To Be Yourself by Alan Hendrickson and I don't know like anything about it other than like the title and I guess it's about how to like be yourself and just not, you know, care what people think and just be you, self-love, that type of vibe and I just thought it sounded really interesting and uh, something that could be really helpful to me personally <laughs> and yeah that's the next book on my tbr and then the last book on my non-fiction tbr it's quite short because like i said i don't know a lot of non-fiction books for starters and these are just ones that have been recommended to me by my trusted youtubers or that i've seen or that have just been like really popular or anything like that and if you guys have before we get into the last book if you guys have any non-fiction recommendations that are like your you swear by that you're like everything books let me know in the comments so that i can read them because i'm always looking for books to add to my non-fiction tbr and if you guys recommend them then i feel like i need to read them and the last book on my non-fiction tbr is stop overthinking by nick trenton and this one i feel like is pretty self-explanatory about what it's about and once again i've heard nothing about this book 
at all. I literally just, it came up on like my Amazon recommended and I was like, oh, <laughs> that sounds like it's for me. So I clicked on it and I like read like the synopsis of what it was about and everything. And I was like, mm, this sounds interesting. So yeah, and basically I'm assuming it's about how to stop overthinking. I, and I know a lot of people out there are overthinkers. We overthink everything. I overthink every situation and every single thing that happens to me. And it's really bad. Like I overthink so many <laughs> little things that are so insignificant and I'm like oh my god like that was so embarrassing but that person probably isn't even thinking about it like anything like that it's just like I overthink so bad so I feel like I need to read this book and maybe it'll help to stop doing that uh but probably not because perks of having anxiety we love it but yeah, that is the last book of my nonfiction TBR. Once again, let me know any books that you recommend that are nonfiction that I need to read. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing what was on my nonfiction TBR. It was a bit different because I don't think I've ever talked about a nonfiction book on my channel before because, like I said, I don't really read them unless they're like Harry Styles because obviously there is non-fiction uh, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you're not already and once again thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video literally insane but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys